Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Arch of Allah. Today I am in German Pool, the Causeway Bay factory store. Kevin, as your friend, I know that you pick up this business from your daddy, and this uh, the electronics business is mm. traditional business and mm. it's a very competitive business. How mm. can you handle it? Um, first of all, I'm very uh, honored to have the chance to work with my father, who is the, the founder of the company. Mm -hmm. um, he started out the company selling mainly water heaters. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we uh, started also do appliances such as um, uh, rain chutes and cooktop. But it's uh, quite a limited uh, product range. Um, I've joined the company for almost like 17 years. So the chain is not like built overnight. We gradually um, add on new ideas, new business lines uh, to what you see today in the mm -hmm. Causeway Bay flagship shop. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done so much trial and error for the past 17 years. Sometimes it's failure. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we uh, manage to improve and then we refine our product lines, our strategy and our, our product range. Um, it's not easy, but we're glad to have a good team. And of course, my father is still a very dominant figure mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, what German food is today. Um, but I'm happy to see what you see right now is uh, closer to what I would like a German pool to be, a lifestyle brand. Instead of you just go to an appliance shop to shop for appliance. Instead of you just go to a cabinetry company to look for your, your kitchen cabinet. Instead, we like to promote the lifestyle uh, that fits Hong Kong uh, metropolitan city what they like to use and um, if they might not want to buy the cabinet or the appliances but still they like to walk around our concept shop we even have a cafe so you can enjoy a cup of uh, cappuccino and uh, you just stroll around to um, just window shopping mm -hmm. i just wanted to be part of hong kong lifestyle mm -hmm. and uh, in a more leisure and chill way this is how i want German put you be at least for the next five, ten years. You have a very smart daddy and a smart husband. <laughs> Why you need You're to too kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why you need to work so hard to create a new fashion brand? But ironically, you are not an a fashion designer. Why you need to do this? Um actually I would have to say that because I'm from an entrepreneur family. Mm -hmm. My father is a uh, very hardcore businessman. He started mm -hmm. out from scratch to build his own um, business. And maybe I have his DNA. I like to explore and I, I like to try new things. And um, so happened, I'm a girl. Girl actually loves beautiful things. And I always, of course, enjoy shopping. I always enjoy dress up myself. Mm -hmm. At the same time, my husband is a designer. And uh, we always come across very uh, beautiful things in life, in leisure, or at work. And uh, I come across a lot of um, talented people surrounded by me also. They enjoy, appreciate beautiful things like architect or interior designers. So as a marketing professional, uh, we come across a lot of things that we have to pay attention to details and appreciate beautiful presentation. And perhaps because of that, Throughout the past 17 years, I accumulate quite a lot of um, um, marketing or um, beautiful things in my. I want, I need a channel, I need a platform to vent it out, to express um, the love of beauty. But so happen, I just find fashion is uh, one of the arena I think can best use of to present how I like things and I want to share with people just like a gallery. People, they will draw, uh, maybe on leisure, they will draw and they will host um, a, a, a gallery to exhibit the paintings. But for me, I use fashion show to express <laughs> the love of beautiful things. And um, I use fashion show to express that. I think it's just um, a platform so happen I managed to access to. And um, I make use of what I have seen before and what I have come across in life. And uh, I use fashion show to express my artwork, my art pieces. I think um, it's, it's interesting for me to do that. And I um, really enjoy the whole process, given that I'm not a fashion designer to start. But I learned to be a fashion designer with the craftsmanship. And I actually took a course at um, a night school 
in the Vocational Training Institute with a um, great master. And I didn't think about I can manage to do that myself. And of course, now he is my uh, mentor. He is my advisor who helped me to ensure my whole collection is up to the traditional craftsmanship standard. But I pull together beautiful things together. And that's maybe is in my DNA because I do marketing. I, I am so used to putting good things together in a platform. When you told me that is uh, some time ago, yes. you set up a fashion brand. I think that is uh, you just find a new toy, maybe <laughs> a big toy for yourself. <laughs> but you are not playing with it. You we really devoted on this business. What made you do this, to do so? Um, as you know, actually, I study in the states for quite some time. I spent like fifteen some years in the states and Canada. Mm -hmm. So I'm always inspired by the East Miss West uh, culture. Um, I really like the Western fashion. At the same time, many occasions, actually, when you study abroad, the more occasion you wear Chinese costumes or like Chinese outfits more. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really hard for someone to find some um, nicely done pieces. Uh, of course, maybe with the internet, you can, you can find more. But um, it's not that easy to find something that um, I think um, um, fit my style. I like modern chic. I like the Chinese characteristics, but I do also like um, it infused um, by the Western style. So as you see, my collection is actually like a um, artwork that uh, infused the East meets West concept. On the outskirts, you can see it is like a very traditional Chinese element. We use all the um, um, the elements, say the Mandarin color, and then we, do, we use this very special flower button and whatnot. But the color, the fabric itself, uh, is full of story. Because I maybe, because my profession is marketing, I like to be a storyteller. I like to use that piece of fabric to tell a lot of good memories and stories. It's like a time capsule for me to capture what I like and what I have been um, um, seeing about good things about Hong Kong or Chinese culture. I would like to use it as a vehicle to share the good stories of Hong Kong. So I'm just using it as a, as a, a channel. And um, throughout the process, I really enjoyed it very much. So you can say it's like a, a toy business or a hobby business. But at the same time, I really want to use this as a vehicle to talk about good stories of Hong Kong and to share a lot of good memories like people like us in this generation or many generations back we share the same good memories of all the good things and might have lost in this era I find that you said you intend to put a lot of Hong Kong elements mm. into your design for mm. example the wet uh, blue, white, the, yes. the kind of the passport, part, or is uh, that you also invited the, uh, the Miss Hong Kong to be one of your model to do the uh, very traditional dress. Why do you intend to do so? First of all, a lot of misperception thinking of wearing traditional Chinese chung sam or tank jacket. Um, easily, you will gain like 10, 20 years old. Like people will think you look more mature. Mm -hmm. But usually girls, we want to be complimented by people saying that, oh, you look younger, mm -hmm. uh, you're very stylish. But usually the, you know, Cheng Sam and the age thing never compromise in that mm -hmm. um, way. So I try to revolutionize the whole concept of wearing Cheng Sam will look younger. So I'm using that mindset to make people when you wear a uh, very stylish pattern because we, we do our own print. We do every single fabric in my uh, collection is our house print. So we design our own special fabric and all of them are very playful. The color is actually quite um, um, unexpected. Mm -hmm. And um, by, by putting into a uh, Chinese craftsmanship, the way we dress a girl, when you put up my collection, you will actually find yourself younger very stylish but yet you can see uh, still see the Chinese the traditional uh, beauty mm -hmm. in the traditional Cheng San piece and I'm so um, honored and glad to have Miss Hong Kong 
to wear the last outfit um, for my fashion show. And she is the one, the only girl um, um, from locally. 89 of my uh, looks are wear by um, Caucasian girls, like from the Western world, I have mm -hmm. to say. So uh, I purposely use this East Miss West concept and at the finale piece, I'd uh, go back to the traditional with uh, oriental figure to wear the perfect Changsam wedding gown to do the whole show closure. I just want people to remember East Miss West can be this way and the traditional way also can carry like um, like a fairy in a way, the way uh, Sharon carried my last um, finale piece. So I'm so honored and grateful for her to help me to um, get that image across. I really need to say a thank you to you because you, say you really widened my eyes about the Chinese dress. Because <laughs> for me, the Chinese dress only happened in two occasions. Okay. One is the receptionist at the Chinese restaurants. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Second one is uh, my Chinese uh, school teachers. Mm. They are uh, teaching the Chinese mm. uh, literature and or Chinese history, mm. the madam. But you really widened my eyes about the fashions. Mm. Yeah. But what is your future plan? Um, to be honest, like in the international fashion arena, you actually couldn't equate the two things together. You could not say Changsam uh, Chang equivalent to you know fashion. It's really hard for people to relate the two things together. Mm -hmm. But this is the path I chose to do. I really want um, in the international fashion arena, they will start to, to use a different perspective to appreciate our Changsam art. At the same time, um, when people wear this, they can associate with stylish figure. You know, mm -hmm. people hip and fashionable, they will wear Changsam. But in a way that they fit their style and the charisma. If someone like a Simon, like a professional, or someone who is hip and chic, they have the confidence to try out what they also have a misperception of wearing Changsam is so old school, so old fashioned. If I can turn and change people like you, the mindset of trying more than piece of Chang Sao or more than piece of um, tan jacket, um, and to start to equate Chang Sao with fashion, mm -hmm. this is my goal. I really want people to start seeing um, a traditional uh, outfit in that way, and more and more if people representing the you know Hong Kong City when they go abroad or when they represent the 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 business association when they come across different occasion they have to talk about a good Hong Kong story to start off wearing a modern Chinese chic piece by our collection and uh, to help talk about good story about Hong Kong and um, be stylish at the same time that will be something I want to achieve.